Good morning, well shotters, and welcome to a gorgeous day here at Wellshot Towers here in Anglesey. Um, I just took this photo a couple of minutes ago um, from uh, the deck, as you can see, looking out towards Angles uh, towards uh, Snowdonia. Um, beautiful day today, nice and warm. Please forgive the fact that we've got this lens flare here. Um, that's just an unfortunate byproduct of using my camera phone, I suppose. So the purpose of this quick little tutorial today is to get a bit more detail back into the sky. So we can see most of this is quite well exposed and the sky is starting to blow out a little bit. So we can see some detail in the clouds here and in the sky, but we could do with making that a bit richer, I suppose, make it a bit more um, interesting. Right then, so we've opened up this photo in, um, in Photoshop. So here it is as a background. This photo here is a JPEG. So if we go up here, you can see there, it says there JPEG. Now, if we have a photo in JPEG, how do we open up that photo in Camera Raw? Now, there is a way of doing this, and it's quite easy to do. All you've got to do is press Control, Shift, and A. And this will open up your photo in Camera Raw. So all these different settings, like you have in Camera Raw, they're all available now to your JPEG, which is quite handy. So we'll cancel that for a moment. Now, what we shouldn't do when we're editing photos is edit this background layer. This is just the one copy sat there, and if we make any changes to this, obviously it's going to destroy the photo itself. So what we're going to do is go up here to Layer, and we're going to go to Duplicate Layer. Wants to call it background copy, that's fine by me. Okay. So there we are. We've got this background copy here, and we no background, and we've got the background copy lying on top of it. So now we've done that. If I was to press Control, Shift, and A, it'll open it in Camera Raw. There we go. Now then, so we've got all our sliders here, so it'll do like everything else. Um, so all these make changes to uh, the photo itself. Now up here, you've got these selection things. You might have different ones or whatever. And go to this one here, graduated filter. So before I click on that, if you have a look at the right hand side of the screen now, and I click on this, <coughs> sorry, a bit of frog in my throat there, it's going to change. It says, there you go, change to graduated filter. So as you can see, all these sliders here, what does all this mean? I'm going to reset all these to zero. And I do that by going to the actual button and double clicking. And this will reset everything back to zero. There we go, everything at zero. So as you can see now, my cursor, the middle of the sky there, has changed to set of crosshairs. So what I'm going to do is go to the top of the photo and an error message is going to pop up now and the reason I'm going to show this error message is to show you what to do if it ever happens to you. I'm going to click, left click the button on my mouse and I get this error message. So have a look at that now. Enable to create local adjustments. Please set one or more of the adjustments as exposure clarity to a value other than zero and try again. Okay. So what this means is all these are set to zero. It wants me to change something, anything, doesn't matter what. I'm going to change exposure. There you go. Just a, a tiny bit. It doesn't matter in the slightest. So you can see the crosshairs here now in the middle of the sky. I go to the top. I hold the left button. And I drag it down, this little curtain. Like a little blind. And I'm going to go just beyond my horizon, like that. Now bear in mind what it is. It's a graduated filter. So... All the adjustments are going to be graduated until they sort of fade out as you reach the bottom. So now, if I move any of these around and blow the sky out, I can darken it to a point where it's too dark. And oh, about there, maybe. That looks good to me. It's about one and a half stops. Do I need to change the contrast? As you can see, it has a, a small effect on the sky. Highlights too much, bring it back down, okay, shadows, so about there, maybe a bit of clarity, just to make the sky pop out a bit better, there's clouds, 
So that's it. It's a very, very quick adjustment how to do it if something if you've got a flat skyline like a, a flat horizon. Um, so bear in mind this is a graduated filter so it'll start off quite strong and then the filter effect will peter out when it gets to this line here. I'm going to press OK now. And the adjustment is going to be placed upon this background copy. If I switch this background copy by clicking on this eye, I've switched that off, there's the original copy underneath it. Switch it back on, there you go. So it's a fairly simple way of uh, getting some detail back into the sky, um, getting some colour back into it. Um, so you can do exactly the same in Lightroom. Here's the same photo in Lightroom here. Now there's all your uh, commands, uh, you know, the, the, the sliders as you've got in Camera Raw. Now up here on this box here, you'll see the same one, Graduated Filter. And click on that. And there we go, they're all set to zero. I've got my crosshairs and I can drag this down. Now it's not giving me the error message on this one, so that's all right. And I can do the same again, I can change my exposure. I can change my contrast. Highlights back down. Uh, bump the clarity up maybe a little bit. I'll just... Something like that. So then when I finish that, I can press done. So it's exactly the same thing again. The same thing's happened here to what we've got in Photoshop. So if I want to save this now, um, all I can do is flatten the image before I save it if I wanted to. So I can go to a layer and flatten image. There we go. And then save it, file save as. Now as always I always tell people to give it a different file name, maybe just give it an, uh, an extra number or something like that, something you can identify it with, so you're not overwriting your original file. You may want to overwrite the original file, you might be happy with it, it's up to you, but uh, it's a choice you make. So there we have it, how to just add a bit of detail back into your sky and uh, I hope it's of some use to you. Thanks guys!